Now, I'm supposed to be here this morning as the governor. I'm really here more as a fan. And I think we all are, because you look around behind me and you see great athletes who we all have cheered for and admired, and it's just a tremendous privilege to be with them. Um, let me just say a few things about the National Sports Museum. I am excited about this, because it's going to tell the individual stories of great athletes like the ones behind me. But it's also going to tell a broader st story, because sports often does. We have with us some of the great heroes who in their own ways have changed our view of the world. Of course, uh, who, can, who was alive at the time can look at Jim Craig and uh, not think of 1980 and after we had defeated the Soviet Union and he had the American flag draped around his shoulders looking in the crowd for his dad. These are the stories that this museum can tell. And I am just extremely pleased it's going to be here in Lower Manhattan. This is the base of Broadway. This is where they have the ticker tape parades when heroes come home from overseas. This is the canyon of heroes. And right here, more than a million people a year will come to hear the story of the athletes behind us and of what sport has meant to our country and to the world. And it will also provide a permanent home for the Heisman Trophy. And Bill Dockery, I know you're pleased with that fact because the Heisman has been downtown since 1935 and it's going to be staying right here downtown for a long time to come. And we are putting $52 million of Liberty Bonds dedicated to rebuilding Lower Manhattan into this project. Mayor Bloomberg strongly supports this project. Speaker Silver, whose district this is, supports this and fights every day to bring more activity and excitement to Lower Manhattan. And Chairman Gargano, who was the stickball champion of Brooklyn, by the way, Phil, I don't know if you could put him in the National Sport Museum has helped to allocate these funds. We will not fail in our mission to make sure that this is the National Sports Museum, that it does draw over a million people a year, that it does tell the story of individual great athletes, but more importantly, what sport has done for our country and the world, and it will be a part of Lower Manhattan, the most exciting place in America to be in this decade. Thank you. God bless you. Great being here with all of you. My Earliest memory, or one of my big memories when I was young was watching Doug Williams, a black quarterback, win a Super Bowl, and that was fabulous for me. You never know how another person's gonna touch your life, or how you're gonna touch their life. But in fifth grade, Susan Williams, who her father had just been tra transferred from New York, was sitting next to me in fifth grade in Long Beach, California, and she said to me, do you wanna play tennis? And I said, what's tennis? So thank you, Susan Williams. Uh, all jocks like to tell you they're the luckiest person in the world. I may be the prototype. The result has been, you know, fortunately enough to play on an NCAA champion at Holy Cross and six world championships with the Celics. One of my fondest memories of my pro experience was uh, dumping Bill Parcells with Gatorade uh, in 1987 in the Rose Bowl having finally won a Super Bowl and bringing a championship to New York. What I remember most is representing our country and having our captain call us up on the podium and get up there and just hear the chants of USA, USA, and being part of a great moment that uh, we shared with the country. One of my very first memories is going to see Mr. Cousy play with the Boston Celtics, and that was, I was like eight years old, and that was one of the great thrills of my life. And of course, of a personal experience later in life, um, being involved in two world championships, and particularly this one here, because the Mets had been kind of down for so long, and to win the 86 World Series in this city was just a great thrill. You're, you're born an athlete. You know that you're going to play. And <clears throat> I was born without some of the bones in my lower legs and became an amputee when I was a year old. But growing up, <clears throat> I had never known any other amputees, and so I had these wooden legs that were perfect for field hockey and soccer and anything else. Nobody wanted to take me on when they were coming up next to me because I couldn't, they could hit me all they want with the stick and I wouldn't feel it. And when I slid feet first into second base as a softball player, I always was safe. I think it takes a lot of dedication for somebody to put a thing like this together. I really admire what they do. And all these athletes is all dedication. 
And I just have to say, on behalf of the artists, we're dedicated also. So this is a wonderful operation here. I'm very proud to be here. Thank you. The NCAA Bob Cousy Award, which is given every year to the uh, finest point guard in the nation, uh, will be also housed here uh, in the museum. It'll be in the basketball area. I want to wish you all a great day. I want to thank you for being here. And uh, I want to thank you for your passion for sport, for Lower Manhattan, and for the first ever National Museum celebrating sports. Thank you.